Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to head over to Greece and it's been a long time since I've reviewed a Greek beer but as I told you on one of my channel messages I took a trip over there and I've brought back some Greek beers to review for you so I hope you enjoy this kind of Greek mini series that you're going to have over the next little while. So for the first one we're going to go to a company called Strange Brew who are actually a gypsy brewery and we're having a taste of their flagship beer today. So this one is called the Jasmine IPA. It it comes in at 6.2% and it should be quite nice. I did actually try the American Stout from these guys, which I think it was called Uncle Jam's Adventure Number no. 2, if I remember correctly. I tried that when I was at Barfly Bar in Mia Smyrna in Athens when I was staying with my friend Yorgos. And uh, a big thank you to Yorgos for helping me with the um, with the translation of the, of the notes and stuff for this beer. So a huge thank you to him for that and for letting me stay with him while I was in Athens. Um, but this beer, I'm sure, it will be really nice. The other beer I had from these guys was really good. And do make sure you check out the Barfly Bar if you find yourself in Mia Smyrna in in, uh, in Athens in Greece really lovely little bar and the guy Christosomos who owns it is, uh, is really really nice as well so yeah as I always do with my videos then I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery but if you want to get straight to the tasting just fast forward all the usual links are in the description below that's the brewery website the link to my other reviews that I'll do in the future from Strange Brew hopefully there's all the usual social media if you want to see more beer reviews do please consider subscribing to the channel the whole channel of course has a geography based tagging system so you can go into the home page and search for beer based on country, city, state, county, prefecture, whatever it is you're interested in. Do check out the playlist of beers from different countries. There is one there for all the Greek beers that I've reviewed for you. That will be getting added to over the next little while and then beyond that whenever I can. And as always, please do get in touch and let me know some of the other beers and breweries that you guys would like to see me review. It's always great to hear from you guys that are watching the videos and the support that you show the channel is hugely appreciated. So anyway, to tell you a little bit about Strange Brew then, on to my brewery notes. So as I mentioned to you, Strange Brew is a gypsy brewery and it was started by three friends. So this was Yorgios, Orestes and Antonis. And I do apologise if any of these Greek pronunciations aren't quite right. But they enjoyed drinking different types of beer together. They really got into Belgian beers, they were saying, and then also into the American IPAs a bit later on. But they later learned that they could actually make the beer themselves. So they did this on different kit breweries, which were the only things available to them at the time. So Yorgos later went to study brewing at TEI in Athens, and then they decided to have a go at making their own company. So they decided to go with Gypsy Brewing because of the high costs of, of actually starting up your own brewery, getting your own premises, your own tanks and all these kind of things. And Yorgos actually also worked at a brewery in Sparta, so he had connections with the guys at Lakoniki Brewery and so most of the strange brew beers are actually brewed there, although the company does base themselves in Athens. At the moment they've got four different beers. They've got this one, the Jasmine IPA, which is their kind of flagship beer, and then they've got a few other ones. They had a double IPA which was, un it was Uncle Jam's Adventure or something like that it was called. So they had the the number one, the number two, which was the American Stout, and then I think they had another IPA, which was the number three as well. I forget the name of that, but so far they've only released four beers. And from what I understand, this is the 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 main kind of flagship beer that these guys do. They say in the future they want to have their own brewery, but at the moment they're just kind of enjoying making different beers and experimenting and stuff like that. And you know what? That's what craft brewing is all about. But yeah, that's all you really need to know about this brewery. I'll put the link to their Facebook page in the description below, along with their website. So if you want to read a little bit more about them, you can. The website is in Greek, incidentally, so you will need to use Google Translate or something like that if you're not a Greek speaker. And uh, you know, Greece, Greek is kind of is a very difficult language. It's got its own kind of arm on the whole uh, the whole scale of things. It's a completely separate language from a lot of other things. But the Greeks, as I found, were really lovely people, and they seem to make some pretty damn good beer as well. So I'm looking forward to having a taste of this. But as I say, if you want to learn more about Strange Brew, check out the links in the description below, and we'll get on to actually tasting this beer now. So just a little quick look at the artwork for you before we open up there you can see there's jasmine there the ipa you can see on the side there there's the strange brew symbol with a little skull with a hop flower coming out of its head it says on the side here because we're going against the norm of flavorless beers while leading your senses through the craft experience follow jasmine as she wanders the countryside and enjoys the fragrant summer and this one is best before the 22nd of september 2018 plain red bottle cap on this one incidentally and uh, yeah there is some other stuff in greek on the side there if you want a little to pause and have a little look at that i'm just checking that you're seeing this on the camera but yeah nicely presented beer this one so without further ado let's get it out and we'll get on with the tasting nice little bit of smoke on the opening there and we'll get it out and into the glass as i said i didn't manage to try this particular beer from this brewery but i'm sure 
it will be nice based on the other ones that I did actually get to try. So yeah, as you can see, it's poured a nice, bright, kind of hazy golden colour. You can smell some lovely kind of citrusy fruit coming off that already. There's a solid finger of a frothy, I would say perfect white head on this one as we bring it out. One or two big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass and a few little ones just heading, out, just heading up towards the bottom of that head. I'm smelling some really nice fruity notes from this. I do reckon there's a little bit of citra hop in here just going by the aroma actually. It's got a nice kind of almost gooseberry and slightly mangoish note uh, coming off it. But yeah, it looks like a really nice beer. Pretty much looks as you would expect from an IPA to be quite honest. So let's take a closer look at the aroma then and just see how we get on. Yeah, I do suspect there's a, there's a bit of citra hop in there. There's a bit of a, the, on the fruity side of things, there's a little bit of an orangey character in there. There might be a wee bit of Amarillo or, uh, or maybe, don't think mosaic. I, I think maybe there's a little bit of Amarillo and citra in this beer, to be honest with you. So yeah, a bit of orangey character, a little bit of apricot, maybe some kind of mango and sort of gooseberry note in there as well. There's a little bit of a... A kind of bready note, you can smell a little bit of that kind of malt base to it, some sort of biscuity, bready, almost wheaty white bread type thing. There's a little bit of a herbal quality to it as well. I do wonder, maybe, I don't know if there's a little bit of, uh, there could be a little bit of jasmine in it or something like that. It does have that almost kind of herbal quality, maybe that's why they've called it Jasmine IPA. But it smells nice, it really does have a nice uh, aroma to it, this beer. A little bit of a biscuity, caramelly sweetness to it as well. So yeah, as I always say, just take a little bit of time and enjoy the aroma of it, this one. This one actually smells quite well balanced. It's got some nice juicy, fruity qualities to it, but there's a little bit of a biscuity. Uh, the malt base does kind of push its way out a little bit on this one. So take a little bit of time and just enjoy that for yourself, actually. It does smell like a really quite nice beer. So yeah, let's have a go at this one then. So this one is the Jasmine IPA from Strange Brew, a gypsy brew who brew their beers in Sparta, but are based primarily in Athens and Greece. Let's get stuck into this one. Slanget, Skull, Yamas. Yeah. That is a pretty nice beer. It's, some of the other Greek IPAs and stuff that I had were quite oily and quite juicy. This one's a little bit different because it does lean a little bit more towards the malt base and it has a sort of, um, it has a, just a little bit of almost that herbal quality. I do wonder if there is a little bit of jasmine or something in this beer. Yeah. It's interesting, the malt base on this one is good. I mean, this is, as I say, this is quite a different approach to IPAs than the other ones that I've tried from Greece so far. I tried a lot of different beers on tap when I was over there. I always do that when I go on holiday. I'm always like, I want to try the Greek beers. But yeah, for this one, the malt base is really nice. So you can feel a little bit of that pale malty character. That just blankets the middle of your tongue. On top of that, you get a little bit of a biscuity sweetness. There's not quite a caramel to this one. It is more of a slightly sort of biscuity flavour, I would say. And there is a little bit of a herbal quality in there. It almost has a little bit of a spicy note, which is making me wonder if they've added just a little touch of jasmine to this one. But it does make the beer feel really, really fresh. Which is nice, and I mean, that's what you would want. You know, Greece was... I was there you know, in April, and even then I was finding it pretty hot, you know, Northern European, of course, and, uh, you know, milk bottle skin, that's just kind of how it goes, but this beer, it, it, that, if there is a sort of little jasmine element to it, it does make it feel really fresh, but the malt base, like I say, pale malt, a little bit of thicker white bready wheaty character in there, some sort of biscuity caramel, there's a little bit of sweetness in the middle of the palate, and then on top of that there's almost that little um, jasmine kind of herbally quality, which is, is really interesting. On the hoppy side of things, a little tiny touch of earthiness in the back corners of the palate, but as you come further forward along the sides of the tongue, there is a good sort of almost spicy uh, floral aromaticity to this one. It's not quite pine raisins, I'd say it's more kind of spicy floral character out of this one, then round the very front curve of the tongue, Pardon me, it's just a little bit lighter and grassy. And then, of course, just behind that front curve of the palate, that's where you get some of these nice kind of juicy, fruity flavours that are coming out from the esters and the hops.
But yeah, that's a really nice beer, this one. I have to say that about it. They've done, a, they've done a good job of this, so a thumbs up to Strange Brew, and I'm sure when I tried the American Stout as well, I really enjoyed that one. I don't know if that's a cask-only beer or something like that, but I'd love to get their other beers in bottle and see if I can uh, and review some of those. Because, they, they, as I say, when I tried them on tap, they were pretty good. Um, so, in terms of the... I'd say in terms of the mouthfeel of it, or in terms of the fruity side of this one then, I would say, sorry, I'm forgetting about the fruits, I think there's a little bit of a kind of mangoey note to this one. Yeah, a little bit of a mangoey character. I'm not getting the orange that I was picking up in the aroma, interestingly enough. I do reckon it's a little bit of a... I do reckon it's a little bit of a kind of um, um, grassy... I reckon it's a bit of a a citra quality that's coming out of this one. As you progress further and further into the aftertaste, it's lychees and a little bit of gooseberry, I think, that starts to come out of this beer. I do suspect that it's citra they've put in this one. I could be wrong right enough, but I do think it's citra, and I think there's maybe some, uh, I don't know, maybe some Hercules or something like that in there. There's a nice spicy floral aromatic edge to this beer. It could be like Centennial or something like that that they've put in. I like guessing what hops they've used in it, because it doesn't tell you, of course, but there's a nice kind of floral edge to this one, and the fruity character, as I say, there's a little bit of mango, some of these kind of light, you know, it's a little bit of gooseberry as well, and that makes me think there's a bit of citra in there. But overall, as I say, it's a really nice beer. It feels very, very fresh, which is what you want in a hot country like Greece. In terms of the mouthfeel then, mid-bodied, don't think there's any doubt about that. Carbonation is quite smooth. It's got a little bit of an oily mouthfeel to it. Nice bit of floral aromaticity. I would say a little bit of juicy fruit character. There's a little bit of almost kind of spiciness to this beer as well, which is quite nice. That really does make it feel fresh. And there's a little bit of sweetness from that malt base too. But overall, like I said, a really nice beer. I'm a bit disappointed I didn't get to try this one on tap when I was out in Greece, but I'm sure there will be more opportunities for that in the future. But yeah, a really nice beer, this one, and I'm definitely glad that I was able to bring one back and review it for you guys on here. So yeah, that's really cool. My first Greek craft beer review in quite a wee while, actually. I think the last ones that I reviewed were some of the Septem beers, but you will see me review more of those at some point fairly soon, but it's been really cool to review this one for you. I hope you guys in Greece have enjoyed watching me review one of your beers. Strange Brew have done a nice job with this one. If you're visiting Greece, do try some of their craft beers because they're doing some really, really nice stuff. So this one was the Jasmine IPA from Strange Brew. They brew their beers in Sparta, but they're a gypsy brew and they're a gypsy brewery, but they're based primarily in Athens. A really nice, fresh IPA, this one. Have a go at it and see what you think. So yeah, once again, thank you for watching my beer reviews. Until the next time, please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. Let me know your own thoughts on this one in the comment section below. Let me know what your favourite beers are from Strange Brew as well. Do let me know some other Greek craft beers and breweries that you guys would like to, like me to check out. You will see more videos appearing over the next little while, but I will catch you guys very soon. The Jasmine IPA from Strange Brew, a gypsy brewery from Athens who brew their beers in Sparta. Yamas.